Well, the storm may be out of here, but the threat to our coast is not over with winds set to kick up con conditions. Our very own Pierce Legion has been stationed at Atlantic Beach through the storm and picks up our team coverage. Pierce, how are things looking there at the moment? Maria, the effects uh, from Matthew becoming less and less here as we head throughout the day, but we are not out of the woods just yet. Flooding that is being referred to as catastrophic still on the way. We traveled up Highway 70 earlier this morning to Newport to talk with Sarah Jameson over at the uh, National Weather Service. She is closely monitoring river levels and is deeply concerned about the forecast for the days ahead. The Tar, Noose, Contentnia, and Northeast Cape Fear all expected to crest near historic levels. What we're going to be anticipating the next several days is several, several, several hundreds and if, if not thousands of businesses um, and properties being inundated. Uh, people are going to have to evacuate. They're going to have to prepare to be in temporary shelters. Overall, this round of flooding is expected to last as long as a week or two, and Jameson says it could rival the flooding which followed Floyd back in 1999. Yeah, it's going to be that serious, and these rivers, by the way, they're going to start spilling over their banks as soon as tomorrow. So realistically, some folks may only have today to prepare for another round of flooding. That would be round two. We're live here in Atlantic Beach. Meteorologist Pierce Legion, nodding your side.